Six, a bird. Munching on worms and seeds in the grass. I'm not for sure. Hopefully you guys can see it. I think it's a tiny little bird. Earlier I saw a blue jay. But yeah, man. There's a bird foraging for worms and seeds and uh, all kinds of goodies, snails and yeah, little, little seeds that didn't plant, the birds will eat it. Yeah, look how cool this yard is, man. This yard is thriving. The reason why it's thriving and so robust is because of Mr. Whoopins. Yeah, man. Mr. Whoopins has been watering the yard and uh, he's been ha practicing his green th thumb lately. Yeah, man. Some lady. Across the street. I think it's a bird. You guys can figure it out. Whether it's a bird, tiny little bird, or a mouse, let me know. Hmm. Cool. Neighbors' flowers, plants. Cool looking white rose over there. Look at that man. Super cool white rose. These haven't blossomed yet. We're getting there. Check out my flowers. I believe that's a pumpkin flower because <laughs> it's from the pumpkin seed. Look at that man, is that cool or what? Yeah. This is the Whoopin's Hideout. Flowers and plants. Ooh. There's He-Man hiding out right there. <laughs> The owl staring out. <laughs> but this is the cool thing right here, man. The flower. Ooh. If you guys know what kind of flower that is, let me know, man. I'm guessing it's a pumpkin flower. I don't even know if there's such a thing. Look at that, man. Whoopin' this hideout is thriving. A dragon. Princess Mononake. The guy looks wicked, man. Still, oh yeah, still there. Yep. I think it's a bird. Yep. It's a bird. Chillin'. If it's not a bird, let me know. <laughs> Alright. Until the next Daily Patrol. Whoopin' signing out. Okay. Another day, another unknown. They can bring your biggest order yet, or a new
I'm processing Monday's fishing trip, fishing and crabbing trip. Yeah, man. My new dart board set up here. Yeah, man. Hardcore. Hardcore dark board set up. I've been practicing a lot of dark boarding. Look at this, man. I love uh, throwing darts at wood. It makes a great sound, sound effect. Gives you a really good feedback. But that's my brand new uh, dark board, man. I've been jamming on it. Oof. Most annuity contracts require you to keep the money there for five to ten years. And if you're under age 59, my bucket full of darts, I ordered some more. IRS penalty. Couple of darts in repair. Fee-based financial advisor to see if an annuity is right for you. Not someone who thinks they're going to yeah, our friendly neighborhood bird is still there. Let's see if we can get a little close up of it. Yeah, it's a bird. Yep, it's a bird. Looks like it's a mini bird. <laughs> Look at it hopping around. Uh. <laughs> it's fast, man. Fast mini bird. I think it's, um,. Snipe? <laughs> I don't think it's called a snipe. Most likely it's a finch. If you guys know what species of bird that is, let me know. <laughs> There's a cool view of the white rose from a different angle. Look at this. This is a Washington State pine tree. I've been watering it every day and it's thriving despite all this drought. This is a result of Whoopin's daily care. Yeah, man. down here. Whoa! Look at this tree, man. Woo! I've been watering this tree every day, too. Yeah, this is a cool-looking tree, dude. Yeah, Whoopins waters this tree every day, and despite all the drought, it's lush green, and it's thriving. Woo! Whoopins approves. More Washington State Pine. Back view of the white rose. I have a feeling there's also red rose over here. Yeah, some red roses over here. They're not. See, we have a red rose right there. Yeah. Cool, man. There's neighborhood squirrels named Pippin over here. That's where they hang out. They're not out right now. Yeah. Hey guys, we're gonna be throwing some darts. <laughs> yeah, man. 
We're going to throw darts uh, macho man style. Not no um, pity pat, uh, teeny bopper, uh, sissy style. <laughs> I'm going to show you the uh, whoopin's way of throwing darts Neanderthal style. <laughs> So basically, I'm going to be aiming with my left hand, cocking with my right hand, and as you throw it, you throw it like a baseball, and all the power comes from your left hand. When you snap your left hand down, it creates a whip and a momentum, and it generates all the power. So it's going to look like that. So you aim with your left hand, snap down. And you follow through. It's like a, throwing a baseball. The more relaxed you are, the smoother the throw's gonna be, and the more power you're gonna get on it. Alright, man, let's try it. <laughs> First, we're gonna check on our friendly neighborhood fruit flies. Yeah, baby. Let's see if the Fruit flies have learned a lesson and are behaving today. Let's go into hostile enemy territory here. Alright, fruit flies, you guys chilling? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just got done. Uh, Spanking these guys and they're already back. Yeah. Nope. None in the air. Ooh. Some in the air, man. <laughs> Ooh. Flying fruit flies. Man, talking about never-ending war. Woo! <laughs> Call security. <laughs> All right, that was a nice round. Woo! Okay, never-ending battle against the fruit flies continues. Alright man, let's throw some darts. Here's my basket full of darts. I ordered some more. There's some darts in repair. I think they should be repaired by now. Okay, let's do this. Whew. Using the uh, whoopins dart throwing technique. Hopefully you guys will be able to see this. Hopefully my body won't move too hard. There it goes. Our goal is to hit the wood. Okay, not the uh, uh, dartboard, because the dartboard is sensitive and the wood can be abused. I'm trying to save the dartboard. Okay, first throw of the day. Woo! Check it out. First throw of the day, not bad. Now I'm gonna throw in rapid succession, faster. <sighs> Using the whoopins caveman throwing technique. Here we go. not that accurate but it's more fun than the traditional throwing method <sighs> Woo! you heard that didn't you that's the sound of dart metal tip hitting wood
Yeah, love that sound. Yeah, love the sound of dark hitting wood. You actually have to use the caveman throwing technique, as I demonstrated you earlier, to actually penetrate plywood. Dartboard, you can use, use the traditional dart throwing technique, like this. Hit the dartboard. See, that's the traditional. But um, to hit the uh, plywood, the traditional technique is not going to work because it's not strong enough. Watch. I don't think it's going to penetrate the plywood. Watch. Ooh, it's still stuck. Hmm. Wow. Well, I'm wrong. But here's the uh, Whoopin's Caveman technique. There's a lot more motion involved. Uh, a, lot, a lot of power. Hear that? That's a pot, lot of power generated, baby. We'll go back to traditional here. Get the dark board. Traditional finesse ballet style. <laughs> okay, last one is going to be the Whoopin's Caveman style. And we're going for plywood, baby. We're not messing with uh, uh, the uh, uh, fragile dartboard plywood time. Woo! See that? Check it out, man. Plywood penetration, baby. Woo! That one didn't quite hit plywood. When it hits plywood, it hits solid. It penetrates deep. We're going to try. We're going to try some up, up close and personal, man. Ready for this? This is Whoopin's Caveman style. Woo! Caveman style, baby. Check it out. <laughs> oh man, that was quick dart throwing with uh, Mr. Whoopins. <laughs> See you out in the patrol soon uh, because all my friendly neighborhood ducks are waiting. Yippee ki yay, baby! <laughs>